Where's your new book? In my room. Why? I want to read it now. Well, you can't. Come on. No. We did what we did last night, but you <laughs> won't let me read your book. No. <laughs> Why not? It's too personal. Oh, come on. I'm sure I'll love That's it. That's not the point. Right. The point is you like it and everyone else can screw up. No. The point is if you read it, I'll want you to like it. And I don't want to want you to like it. I want to not care, but I will. This is my problem. And for years, I've worked really, really hard and spent a lot of money on healthcare professionals trying to stop wanting people to like what I'm doing, to just do it. That is good. But I can't. I'm sure if my first book had done better, I'd feel differently, but knowing my work is good and never having had that response, I still care. Well, it's not like you can totally not care. Everybody cares a little. Yeah, but it just felt so important to me to be important. Yeah. You know, to make something that people would think was brilliant. But people will. But now I just want to be happy and People misunderstanding or dismissing my work made me really unhappy, so I'm not showing it to anyone right now. I'm just writing what I want. No compromises, no second guessing, no hopes, no expectations. But, but you have to have some expectations or you wouldn't be writing. Well, sure, maybe it'll be discovered after I'm dead and everyone will think it's a masterpiece and feel sorry for me that I wasn't celebrated in my own time. Who are you? Emily Dickinson? Good one. She got mixed reviews and so do I, but we're proof you shouldn't be discouraged by the dumbass's response. Um, it's not just that. What then? If something was going to happen for me, it would have already. Now that, that is crazy. Why? The people I know from school are on their third or fourth book. Some have been successful so long, they're on the comeback phase of their career. They're making a comeback, and I never got anywhere. Because you stopped trying. I mean Ahmed, who, when I met him at 20, had only written short stories. I convinced him to try writing a novel. He has a Pulitzer. But that does not mean you're not as good as he is. I know, but there comes a time when you have to face that no matter how good you think you are, Things are probably not going to work out the way you want to. But, but, you can't give up when you have something new to put out there. Look, I just don't want to compete with all the 22-year-olds trying to get off square one, trying to have my little voice heard above the throngs of hundreds and millions. At this point, it would be stupid. But you don't, you don't have to think of it as competing and against anyone. And isn't the anyone? world already choking on all the shallow, trivial observations of hordes of self-important morons? Not you. Thanks. So why should I bother trying to fight my way through that? Because... Unlike most of the crap that's out there, your writing is incredibly good. Mm. <laughs>